Chelsea fucking finishing above you. Chelsea. <laughs> like Chelsea. seriously. Newcastle finishing above you. Eighth in the league. We've just witnessed the back four derby. <laughs> Very eagerly awaited by our boys <laughs> in the house. Clearly we can see Ajax bloating already. These insufferable Arsenal fans. But yeah, let's let's dive into it, right? AJ, like, I can clearly see your thoughts, but what do you think about the game? Where are all the United fans, Sid? Bro, you're still on? I'm right here, I thought, bro. I thought, I thought you wouldn't Loud show up, bro. <laughs> like, I thought you'd be Nihal, not wearing the jersey, not representing. Turning to Chelsea. Chelsea fucking finishing above you. Chelsea! <laughs> like, Chelsea. seriously? Newcastle finishing above you. Eighth in the league. First time in, like... What hundred years? How does how does it feel to you, bro? I feel great. How does it feel to you? I mean, uh, <laughs> this season is already over before it began. Oh, isn't it? Oh, okay, so, okay. Like our our entire point of the season was just to like be insufferable to other clubs as much as possible. And yeah, I think Arsenal <laughs> had a pretty nervy finish to the game, so I'm I'm enjoying. That's all. I think I this was the for. most comfortable OT visit we ever had. Not gonna lie. Like, the yeah. most comfortable we were throughout the game. Like, you didn't stand a chance. You didn't even lay a glove, let alone fight. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And we let you play. You tried playing and you clearly showed that you just don't have the quality or the tactical now, or bro. the players or the manager. The crowd was silent, bro. It was a library. You remember you called Emirates a library? The rain was louder than your crowd, bro. The rain was louder than your crowd. What the fuck? And did you see the Arsenal fans at the end? Yeah. <laughs> AJ, right now, AJ, I can't. the only reason why Old Trafford was quiet was because they didn't want City to win the title. Bro. It's not because they... <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> the most comfortable that, Old Trafford that, win came on the occasion of when you are in a title race with our no, like, rivals. You're not even main rivals for OT crowd. No, no, no. The, <laughs> only reason, yes. the, only, the only person I'm not bantering is you because you've been whatever. Like you've been good. <laughs> You've been kind to your team and my team as well. So, I would banter you, but please. <laughs> please. I mean, no, we literally, it was, not, we literally, it was so by we, no, no means a very, um, you know, it was a calm, very professional performance, but it was not like comfortable or aggressive or over the top. You know what I, I think, mean? Like, no, no, no. You guys were like the worst team to come to Old Trafford and win. Like of all the wins that Old Trafford, That's, at Old Trafford that came. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Like Bournemouth no, was better than you guys. Like by bro, being we, aggressive. We always, by if you've seen being... Arteta, if you've seen Arteta in the past five years, <laughs> he looks at the larger picture, right? He looks at the grander scheme of things. The and process. imagine, imagine if we had come and beat you eight two, Eric Ten would have gone today. We don't want that. We want him to stay. We want him to get all these excuses that you know we played well against a title-winning Arsenal. And now the next season he'll continue in the helm. He'll take you to the tenth spot next season, bro. Like it's it's going to be glorious. It's going to be absolutely glorious. So it's about we a larger have, picture. We, we literally let you have the ball. Not, we literally let you have the ball. You're like play, show us something, like do something. You're like with a stick. You know you're that meme with a stick. Hey Manchester United, do something, do something. <laughs> Nothing, bro. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I mean, I was eating my. I never eat during the food during the game because I'm like so nervous. And I was eating. I ordered. I was like, I went on my phone. I ordered some biryani. I was like, yeah, it's just chill. It's walk in the park. I was just eating, hogging. There was a moment when I just left for like five minutes because it was so like nothing was happening. So yeah, it was most... glorious, bro. It was glorious. <laughs> One of the things which which I just heard, the most fascinating thing is, at least you didn't beat us as bad as uh, Burnimoth or Crystal Palace. <laughs> Shame on you oh. guys. Shame on. <laughs> is 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 that what is that what we are down to right now? <laughs> at least we didn't lose as bad. Okay, okay just to rub in a little yeah. bit more, right? We have scored forty-one goals in the first half, which is almost equal to the number of goals you have scored total. In your in your season, so, right? You've had the most. We have more clean sheets than you have wins this season. So whatever talk you want to bring to the table, just let it let it to bed, bro. Just accept the defeat and talk about the game. Talk about how poor Eric Tanag is, and move on. Let's not talk about like you know what, what we did, what we did not do. Okay, I'm done. Now I'll be now I'll be yeah. over. <laughs> is that the same stick that the elephant fell fell from the last season? 
Bro, an elephant is building a elephant is building a castle. Or is this the same stick building... that you are using to like climb up the tree again? Right to fall, to right fall, fall down again. But elephant, elephant is a ninja now. Check, but it's actually a bottle, Nihal. <laughs> These guys know it really well. Bottle, bottle was last season. I mean, we have uh, we have the best record against the top six, right? Like, if you, I mean, objectively speaking, what the game all banter aside, I think there's nothing that I can say against Arsenal at this point of time. I was super critical when we went out to Bayern, but uh, I mean, if you just look at our top six record, right? We beat United both. Like away and home, we, we drew Tottenham uh, away and then beat them at home. We beat Manchester City at home at at Wembley in the Community Shield, whatever it's worth. Community Shield. We beat Liverpool at home, we drew them away. Uh, Chelsea, same thing. So it's been like a massive, massive improvement, dude. Like at the end of the, of course, as I said, bantering aside, there was, uh, you know, you could see the emotions in the crowd at the end of the game, uh, where people were like, you know. crying and they were happy tears right it was about like being back on the table being back to being uh, not bottling as you said because we did bottle last season liverpool did this season i'll, I'll come to you abna uh, i think i'll get back to my bantering in a bit but yeah. uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, but yeah i mean it's it's been a great ride and if you I, as i said if 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 in january somebody showed me a fixture list and said that okay you'll only lose one game uh, out of united tottenham aston villa and like city I would have taken it. I would have taken it with both hands. Like you know, it's been an amazing run, and uh, we are just up against someone. It's it's like you know, going against prime Mike Tyson in his prime era. Like no matter how good you are, you just can't beat Mike Tyson. Uh, but we'll prove that wrong. We will. We will beat them. But uh, you could have beaten. But you could have beaten Aston Villa. That's what I'm saying. Like we could have lost. We could have lost to United. We could have lost to all our bogey fixtures. Like we could have lost to Tottenham away. We could have lost to City away. We didn't. So that's what I'm saying. Like if in the most run of 18 games, if somebody gave me that you'd lose one, I would happily take it. I mean, which team would not? City would take it at this point. I mean, they were on a. They is an incredible team. So that's a separate thing. But wait, where are all the Liverpool fans at? Who was like after beating Liverpool, them, they were like, oh, you're still third. Liverpool you're still fans. third. You're still third. Are you still third? Right, Liverpool you're fans. You're mathematically, and... you're mathematically beast on to third, bro. Mathematically beast on to third. You fucking uh, bottled a club farewell, four trophies, going out to no name teams, losing to any team that came on uh, on Anfield, and you're fucking talking to us. No, Liverpool fans are happy. They are happy and they're content <laughs> right now. <laughs> like Arsenal fans who are shitting through every match, we are happy and we expect we. We have accepted it, right? We are at that yes, stage. Yes, we have accepted. We have accept, accepted mediocrity. Okay. No, we've accepted what we My what God, we get, Arsenal what we deserve. And that's so insufferable right now. <laughs> Just because you have won this like one game and you're no, not even so, going to win the league. <laughs> Sid, Sid, don't worry about it's it. Matter, as bro. as much matter, as bro. I as much as I hate this happening to Arsenal fans, there is a special kind of pain awaiting them on final day. Yeah, yeah. Again, see, right now they are expecting that. Okay, fine. Yeah, we will finish second. We are against Mike Tyson. We are this early, whatever, right? So yeah, that's fine. That narrative is fine. But it will spin in such a way. That they will give you a whiff of victory on final day at 85th minute, and then 92nd minute, City will be champions. That is going to haunt you. That is what's going to happen. No, exactly. No. I think <laughs> we've seen that script a lot. Bro. I think you've seen that script so much with City that mm-hmm. uh, we are just you saying it makes us mentally prepared for it, bro. Like until the okay. final whistle, we won't be celebrating. So we're fine. You'll... Yeah, good, bro. Ex- we did. We beat all of the people on the screen. We left all of you speechless. And so we're it's not fine. celebrating. <laughs> What's that? <clears throat> No, no, I thought you were already waving your flag very high, and oh, yeah, you're not celebrating. Glory, glory, Arsenal! Glory, glory, Arsenal! But Nihal, coming to you, right? Like, what are your thoughts on the game so far? Like, do you think United were set up in a way that they could actually challenge Arsenal, or do you think that Ten Hag did something different? That Ten Hag, like. throughout the season he was hoping that like united score in the first 10 20 minutes from their aggressive fast start and if that didn't happen as soon as things fizzled out and they scored dude we could have played 1000 more minutes and we wouldn't have scored against that arsenal team it was a complete professional performance they were they came here with a purpose to take three points and they would have gone out like if it didn't happen that they saw the, they saw this tactic from ten hag arteta was perfectly equipped for it Uh, yeah. there were i think two or three shots in the first 20 minutes that could have gone either way and i think that is what he was heavily relying on like that we 
we surprise them at the start that's how he wins against bigger teams like he, they, that surprise factor that element of surprise that have worked once against arsenal he's hoping that it'll work every time which didn't happen and if arsenal didn't score in the 20th minute they would have waited and it could we could have at at best come came, come out of it with a draw like how we did at anfield but it was not set up for a win and we needed a win dude like forget arsenal i'm not going to sit here and gloat about like fucking like finishing second like i don't get that mentality and i'll never understand that but i'm happy to see him happy if he thinks that beating everyone on the screen is enough to win the premier league uh good for him right uh but we needed a win we needed to do something of our season like chelsea and newcastle like let's not look at other clubs and like worry about like where they are and let's look at ourselves it's been pathetic and uh I've seen the script too many times with United as well like it feels like we hit rock rock bottom but we hit it multiple times so now I'm just going to hope that like new ownership and like Ineos come and change something and it's going to take a yeah. long time we are 4 5 years away from like being relevant or back to competing but I feel like the club is big enough that they won't let it like fail by itself so yeah let's see uh, but it's, Eric Ten Hag is not me. he's not this. my manager exactly. I don't think I want to back Eric Ten Hag, this we've seen this. It's not working out. We need a change, and it's weird as a United fan, like not supporting your manager who is in seat, but um, yeah. it's just for the be- better of the club. For sure. I mean, United clearly didn't have like coming from that Palace game. Like you want a reaction from your side, and I think the game was still like started off slightly brightly by United, where they were keeping possession. Like I think we had more possession. throughout the game like for the first time in like i don't know how many games so I, that seemed to be like a change that change in approach in terms of ten hag's uh, thinking and approach to the game but clearly it wasn't enough we just don't have players who can match even for like position by position like if you look at arsenal versus united like player by player every position is going to be picked if if we do that battle it's going to be an arsenal player right in, on, across the pitch so we lack the quality we don't have anything to show for and that's how we are, that's the result we are seeing so yeah makes sense but 